Hello and welcome once again to the Land Rover Toolbox videos. Today we're going to continue and look at Evans Waterless Engine Coolants. Water is one of the most efficient heat transfer agents that one can use in a liquid cooled engine. However, it comes with problems. Up till recently, ethylene glycol has been used to stop the water from freezing and also antifreeze will have corrosion inhibitors in it to stop the engine from corroding from oxidization. Antifreeze solution also stops cavitation which is air bubbles in the system which cause damage. The inherent weakness with ethylene glycol and monoethylene glycol is the corrosion inhibitors wear out which require the strength being checked throughout its service life and either needs to be changed every two or five years respectively on what product you use. To stop the water from causing the steam within the engine, the system has to be pressurised. This itself produces problems as well. Ethylene glyco is also toxic. Evans, however, has provided a different solution which gets round most of the problems that we see with liquid-cooled engines or water-cooled engines. As Evans so rightly states, removing the water from the cooling system will remove the problems. Uh, that one's Phil Bayliss. Yeah, tell me um, what you've got and why you use Evans. We've got a TD5 Tune Racing Defender and we're having trouble with the cooling system running pressurised and obviously getting hot because of the performance package we've got on it. Uh, we recommended Evans coolant because it doesn't pressurise and it runs up to 180 degrees in temperature. So we put it in and it's miracle stuff. It, we can run up to 120 degrees in temperature and extreme conditions if we need to and not worry that it's going to boil over or pressurise and it's cured all of our problems about running hot. Um, it still runs hot but we've got no worry of bursting pipes, radiators, losing the coolant uh, and it's, it's brilliant stuff. What Phil's talking about is the power cool which is for performance racing and as he says it doesn't boil to 180 degrees centigrade. Okay, so the benefits basically are eliminating overheating and it reduces pressure because there's very little pressure with this system, prevents corrosion, increases BHP by improving combustion by efficiency, cavitation which comes under the title of erosion where air bubbles will cause damage, that's actually eliminated, antifreeze protection is down to minus 40 and it's non-toxic surprisingly. We have had it on the gauge up to 120 degrees, that's where the gauge stops and it was still fine, we didn't lose an ounce of coolant and it, it, it does what it says on the tin, so yeah. Okay, well if you want to know more in depth about technical specs on this, they do a PDF on each of the products on the website, just here, which you can download and read the data sheet. With regards to performance related Land Rover products, and using Evans Corn and get in contact with Alive Tuning at alivetuning.com. Basically, Evans supply quite a wide range of um, waterless cooling solutions for different types of systems and engines, and there's a wide variety for your Land Rovers. Paddock Spares and Accessories mail order Land Rover parts stock a wider range of Evans cooling products, so check them out. LRTV have already used some of this stuff on a Land Rover 90 Defender. So check out in part two what's actually required to change the system over to using this stuff. We'll see you there. 